Hello students, welcome to another short video on our Small Steps Good Grade Secondary Science Program. Today we're going to do GC O-Levels Physics Light and specifically on a topic lenses, um, which is one of the topic that I really disliked when I was studying my O-Levels a um, few years ago, <laughs> actually many years ago. Okay, in summary, there are two types of lenses. Converging lens, which is also known as convex lens, which is bulging at the center. Concave is like that, okay? It's cave inwards. And converging lens, the light ray will actually converge and meet at a point. Whereas for diverging lens, the light rays will be parallel. And when it passes through the lens, it will diverge and move away. So let me show you. This is how a converging lens looks like and how the ray will move, travel after they cross the lenses. And this is a diverging lens and you can see that the light ray diverge after they cross the lens. And for our syllabus, we will be focusing more on our converging convex lens. And there are four main features of a thin converging lens. You have to know these four pointers, four features, and you must be able to label them well in a ray diagram. So the first one is optical center. Do you know where's the optical center? Where is the principal axis, the focal point, and the focal length? Here we go. So you can see that the optical center is actually at the middle of a convex lens. Okay, It is at the interception whereby the vertical axis and the horizontal axis intercept. So this is called the optical center. The principle of axis is a parallel lines that runs horizontal across the optical center. And the focal point is a point on the principal axis here where the light rays comes to a focus. It's the place where they meet. And the focal length is not a point, but it's actually a distance always denoted by a small f from the optical center to the focal point, which is always denoted by a big f. Now, steps to draw the ray diagram. This is extremely important. We first draw a line from the top of the object parallel to the principal axis to the lens. And then we extend this line to the other side, crossing the focal point. The second step is we draw a line from the top of the object through the optical center. And the last one is the image will be formed where the two lines intercept, okay? So nothing beats a picture, but wait, it is not even a picture, it's a GIF. So first we draw a line parallel to the principal axis and it's diffracted through the focal point. Then next, draw a line from the arrow from the top of the object across optical center. And look, this is the place where the image will be, all right? You can keep re-playing um, this video and try to draw your ray diagram, okay? This is lens 101. You must know how to draw a ray diagram, okay? Just three steps for you. And let's move on to the more oh, part whereby we have to not only draw the ray diagram, we have to remember the characteristics of the image form for different object distance, okay? Let me give you an overview, okay? So this is also another GIF that I found online. I indicate the source here, and you can see that when it's within one focal length, there is no interception here, and all you can see is that you have to extend the, the lines, the dot back up to form a virtual image, okay? Wait for it here we go, you see? So here is diverging. You have to dot it back up to form a virtual image, okay? So here are the nodes. And as the object 
approaches the lens from the right. Okay, basically, whenever the image is formed here, you will see a real and inverted image. Okay, when it comes to the focal point, no image will be formed. But when it's within it, okay, the image is no longer on the lens side, but appears magnified, upright, and it is a virtual image. Because remember, there is no interception on the lens side. What we have is a dotted one, okay, hence this is a virtual image. So um, if you are watching this in a short form uh, uh, video that my team has created, has cut out from my long form video, please go and take a look in my YouTube channel. You will see the whole notes um, available there, all right? So this is for object uh, distance that is greater than two focal lengths. So you will see that it's quite fast, okay? So basically, this line, okay, cut across the focal length and one across the optical center. And you will realize that the type of image is real. Here is real at the side of the lens. It's diminished, it's shorter, and it is inverted, okay? Vertically inverted, all right? So for object distance that is within two focal length to one focal length, you will still have a real image. It's still on this side, the lens side. However, it is um, not diminished, but magnified, okay? It's magnified already. It is still inverted and it's still real, but it changes from a diminished image just now. See, small image to a magnified image, okay, and we usually use this in light projector, right? So do take note that when the object distance is 2F, okay, here, okay, the image is same size, real and inverted, okay? Now, what if you have the object distance less than the focal length? then you will see that there is no interception on this side. So you follow, go all the way parallel and meets the lens and you go down to, to the focal point. One is at the top to the optical center. You will realize that there, there will never be um, an interception here because the, the two rays are actually diverging. What you have to do is you have to dot back up and the image is formed on the side of the object, which is a virtual image, magnified and no longer inverted, but upright, okay? So do take note when the object distance is at the focal length, okay? The image is also virtual, magnified and upright, okay? But it's actually more of um, the infinity, okay? That means the object distance, oh no, the image distance is infinity and it's usually used um, by spotlight, okay, to produce a parallel beam of light, okay, when the object distance is uh, at the focal length exactly. This is it and I hope this short sharing blesses you. Rewatch, rewatch and rewatch this short video and make sure you know how to draw different ray diagrams and remember the characteristic of different for different object distance. If you can't go and do your small steps, good grades, micro lesson, you do it two times, I'm very sure the concepts or the things that you need to remember will stick here. Okay, I see you in the next video. Adios. Bye-bye. <laughs>